Hello everyone, Dylan here with my first LEGO Star Wars 2023 review, and this one's on the TIE Bomber that is that is just now being released. Or right now being officially released. Or at least, or soon. Well, whenever you're watching this video, but yeah. So on the front of the box here, we would have that little board or that we've seen since the start of last year. Here in the Lego and Star Wars logos and picture of the TIE Bomber uh, in action and also 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi logo. But although this, although as everyone's been saying, even though it's not really considered Return of the Jedi, but more Empire Strikes Back, but at least whatever. But also do have the four minifigs included and age recommendation nine and up. Set number 75347 has 625 pieces. And on flip to the back from the box, you have the two logos again, and it resting in the hangar of probably either the Death Star or Imperial Star Destroyer, either one, and also full features of it, and Lego.com in there. And on to the instruction manual, which, same as what they've been doing for this last summer wave with no decorative artwork and all. And the first two pages. A little blurb of that. How they're switched into paper bags and the Lego Builder. And on the back, win on the online survey. Add for rebuild the world and all the pieces that come with the set. Which is actually three pages. And then after some 2021 and 2022 sets, and also these current wave of 2023 or current bit of 2023 sets, and expect my review on that one quite soon. Then, yeah. then the last steps. So for the main figs, so we would have a TIE Farmer pilot, of course, since it is a, a TIE vehicle, of course, although same stuff as we've had for the last few years. There's, and of course, holding a small pistol there, and of course, like you'd expect. And then we would have the recent versions of Darth Vader, which with the side arm printing, of course. Kind of like we saw in last year's Obi-Wan vs. Darth Vader set, of course. And so with the same cape like material and everything. And also, we get exclusive Imperial Gaunt Droid, which comprises a similar build as most regular Gaunt Droids, but also contains a little cr built with a crate piece with the Empire symbol on it, like we saw in the Imperial Marauder in summer 2021, of course. And also of who's exclusive to this set is, is Vice Admiral Ray Sloan, of course, who you'd probably, which is probably from, mostly from, like, a is usually expanded universe, but also the video game Squadron, Star Wars Squadrons, of course. But at least, at least nice to include here, of course. But aside from that, the uh, Imperial Officer outfit, quite similar to what we have with most Imperial Officers. And then face printing, good, and also nice use of this hair piece. Yes, of course, but yeah. And also, as for these two mini things, you can see Tie Fire Pilot with Bruce Wayne Loki uh, out kind of face print, and also the same similar face print as we had for the last few versions of Darth Vader. And also, some nice back head printing for Darth Vader. And 
done for Admiral Sloan. But also good printing for the Gonk Droid as well. But yeah. As for this Mimic selection as a whole, it's at least good that we get an exclusive character to this set. But not sure who else could have been exclusive. But aside from that, still good selection. But yeah. And next to which is this little well, uh, hanger craft or hanger cart. That's what it is. Kind of like as we see with some X-Wing sets and whatnot. But however, this which, which does hold a couple of uh, flick fire missiles, which we'll see on the actual tie box, uh, of course. But a couple extras stored here. But for this front section, nice use of the like card. Uh, rim kind of piece there, and a couple flat studs for lights, and of course a pair of handlebars out, and enough space to fit it went to fit, uh, fit either Sloan or any Imperial crew member or to it. Of course, and so simplistic but well effective, of course. Now onto the Thai bomber itself. So over. So this set as a whole, that was crazy to see here now. Like first time since remade since two thousand three, which is truly insane. But. At least, and as you can see, a lot of designs here quite resembling most later TIE Fighter sets, it's like over the last few years. Well, actually, sort of like the 2021 smaller TIE Fighter, of course. Well, similar designs to that, but at least it's a TIE Bomber, a little bit of different sees, but yeah. So now for the wing bits, which, which are kind of like that other TIE Fighter set. But at least with some nice tiling detailing all over, and also with nice black and light gray, of course, and also some dark gray with that gold bar piece on there. And also, just like that previous or few previous TIE Fighter sets, have that little tile piece on there as well. Then, other wing, uh, kind of the same stuff, of course, but from the back side, do you have? Have, like good use of some of these uh, rim pieces here. Or rim pieces and also little tileish rounded tile or plate pieces in there, and also a pair of red studs. It's acting as the thrust boosters, of course. And as for this front section, which is most likely to be the spot for a blaster in there, but instead got that in the center with a couple stud shooters like launch like so. And so as for this center kind of section, which are comprised of two different ones of which, and of course one of which does have the bombing feature which is what these pegs are for, which are actually flip fire missiles that point down for. So just stick your finger right in there and get them to drop out, of course. And to reload is just turn it over and stick them in one at a time. And also for this little bit here, which kind of similar to the last version, but instead of like fixed in one place, it has a little bit of posability in two spots, even though it's supposed to be in just one single position like that. And as for this other section here, kind of similar to that, 
a little bit good snot, giving it a nice, smooth, curvy texture. And also, just like the front section, oh, also forgot to mention, also it's nice to see this dish piece with some printing around it. Although you can, unless if you're a mocker, you can figure out how to use that in your mocks, but yeah. Now as for this section, which kind of similar to the thrusters in the back side, but and also with a uh, with a windshield piece like the 2021 TIE Fighter set, it's kind of in, and you can flip it open. And also, when flipped open, then little uh, uh, compartment where you can store your extra shots for stunt shooters, or as of some I would say, to hit, hide an extra blaster in there. But and of course, with both cases, kind of hard to get to it, unless it was one of the extra flat studs on there, of course. Uh, and also, you get a, the cockpit section, which is comprised of mostly just a tile and also a couple smaller tiles those that have kind of button like prints on them. And of course, you can like fit your tie fire pilot. But although what could have been nice is if there were some studs to put them on there, but I think a tile there is probably so you can slide him in easily and close the hatch over him. Oh, as long as there is the blaster. Okay then, and close up like so. All, but unfortunately with this design of which, you can't really see right out of it. Because of how it's built, which you probably see if you've been there. Of course, and also like the recent TIE Fighter, or 2021 TIE Fighter set, and 2019 4 Plus TIE Fighter set. Is oh, hang on. these kind of add on pieces that you can there hold on for the wings, of course. And so now, on to a little comparison of this with the only other TIE bomber we had, which is from 2003. And of course, this I also did a, did a Throwback Thursday review on, so go check that out in the card up there, or of course, but yeah. So, as you can see, quite a bit of difference there. Like as you see, this previous one, more blocky, and this one, more smooth, and also quite a bit of blue on it, which the previous TIE fighters and TIE bombers previously had, but this one play more like great on it, like it just sort of should be. And of course, this one in which did have an actual bonnet feet, sure, but with a cylinder, with blue cylinder instead of quick fire missiles. So, and of course, did have a bit of a launcher kind of feature, sure, but in one section rather than in rather than the center, of course, but at least for how this is, I can, it's still workable, but of course, different camping, like, it's to, at least the prints are kind of the same, so you can see both of which kind of a 20 year, like, a difference, but yeah, but like, if you, oh, which still missed out, missed out on this one completely, well, probably get, probably better with this one, but yeah, that's about it that. And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this was a uh, quite a really good set for how it is. But like, and of course, time to celebrate. Since it's our first time bomber that we've ever had in like forever. And of course, and also the minifig selection, quite good, but at least we get one exclusive one, Vice Admiral Sloan. Despite being like from the video game, Star Wars Squadrons, of course, but, and of course, Expanded Universe as well, but 
at least, and also kind of good to include recent Darth Vader core as well. And although the features of which kind of improve a bit over the uh, early 2003 version TIE Bomber, of course. Although I think the uh, spring of the, or the foot fire missiles that are the bombing bits of it, I think they could have been like uh, actual uh, cylinders like the previous version, but at least they're still kind of workable. Oh, yeah. And also as for the rest of the design switch, quite good for how it is, but yeah. And also for the price point of $65, of which kind of weak for it, although 60 would have been almost as good, but 55 also would have been great, but yeah. But at least, like, but at least still kind of, I can still forget the price point, but yeah. Even though the 2021 type fighter of which was of course 40, and of course this little bit extra added to that, but yeah. And if you're looking to start Star Wars 2023 range, well, definitely pick this up. And also, if you're looking to celebrate getting the new TIE Bomber set, also definitely pick this up. And also, if you've been playing Star Wars Squadrons and, well, adored and liked playing it and and want to celebrate, be, celebrate getting it, then also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.